Hello everyone. So I got one of my favorite calls this morning. Someone texted me and said that she had a bunch of clothing to give me. And you know that is my favorite thing in the world. So I'm going to unbox it. Let me show you what it is. So I got these two bags and this very large box of children's clothing. What I'm going to do right now is go through that, sort it all out, and just show you guys what you can get if you start accepting donations. Um, I don't love selling kids clothes. So what I'm going to do with all of this is take it to Once Upon a Child, which is a local children's consignment store near me. And they're great because they just pay cash, absolute cash for whatever you bring in that they decide to keep. So I'm gonna go through this and then I'm gonna take it in and show you guys what I made. So I'm Refashioned Hippie. Um, I am a full-time mom and full-time reseller and I love accepting donations. Um, whenever I make a sale, a portion of it goes into my daughter's college fund and a portion of it goes to help Sanctuary Village, which is a nonprofit that I volunteer for. We're building a tiny house community in the city of Philadelphia. If you're interested, check out. Because I do a lot of work for that charity, people know that I, that was my dog. Um, because I do work for that charity, people know that their clothing is going to a good cause and they like donating to me. So I end up with a lot of donations. Um, I say about 90% of what I sell in my business is donation based. If you guys have any questions about that, uh, check out my book. I have a couple chapters in there on that. It's just, it's a really, really great thing. So I get stuff out of people's houses that they do not want anymore. I put it into my buyer's hands and I make money along the way. Everybody wins in my opinion. So I'm going to unbox the stuff and see what we have. Uh, there's a couple reasons I'm doing that. One, I'm curious and I want to see. Two, uh, the children's store only takes things in good condition. So if like jeans have a rip on the knee or something, they're not gonna take it. I'm not gonna waste their time looking through it. Um, some people might just drive all of this over there and be like, here you go, look through it yourself. But if the first three things that they take out of your box are just in really poor condition, I think it gives them a bad idea of your stuff going forward. So I like to lead on the right foot, um, but Whenever I bring something into the children's store, everything is folded, everything looks really nice. Um, and I always like to put my best stuff on the top of the bin so that the first couple things they pull out are the new with tag pieces, the really in season stuff. And I think that just gives a really good impression of what they're going to find as they go through the rest of the donations. So let's start unboxing. Um, first, and I'm so sad these are not my daughter's size. Frozen boots. She's still obsessed with Frozen. And honestly, these like, I won't even need to clean these. Those are in perfect condition. So I'll probably make five bucks right off of that right there. Next, wee little Crocs. Ugh, I hate that these aren't my daughter's size. So these have a little bit of wear to them, but still, especially for kids, like my daughter grows out of things every 15 seconds, it feels like. All right, these are from... Croft and Barrow. I am suspecting they are not children's. Yeah, all right, so these are a women's size six. Uh, so I will keep these, clean those up just a little bit. Again, they're still in really good condition and list those for $20. So we've made money already. That's great to see. Um, what are you guys? Oh, okay, cool. So this is the other thing when you're accepting donations. People will tell you what it is and then it's not so she said this was all children's clothing these are soap molds i think well at least these are soap molds um this one says it's from wilson if anybody has any familiarity with that let me know i'm assuming it's a soap mold i guess you could make like little cakes or something but i'll look that up i actually got a bunch of these in before and i sold them for ten dollars each so i'm fine with this we're already ahead of where i thought we would be Look how cute, guys. Oh, and again, it, perfect condition. These aren't even worn. Like the sticker on the bottom hasn't even been touched. That's great. Awesome. All right, flip flops here. So funnily enough, the top has more wear than the bottom. <laughs> well, that's what the bottoms look like. So they're still in perfect condition. Okay, that works for me. So yeah, four pairs of shoes that I know they're gonna take. Because, yeah, this is not all kids' clothing. Um, this is definitely men's. A reverent warrior. So, I mean, 
yeah, I don't think I'm going to sell that. So that's going to be a no. All right, men's basketball shorts. If they're in good condition, I'll sell that. So these plain black shirts, I'm actually collecting these for a craft project. Um, I always need more just like plain black t-shirts, so I'm keeping that. That's going to be a project tee. Um, men's underwear. Fun. <laughs> All right, you know what? The rest of this is men's, so I'm going to stop going through it right now um, and get back to the kids' stuff. All right, so this is a great example of something that is way too pilly to sell. So if you guys don't know what pilly means, it's that. It's all those like tiny little balls that you see collected there. Sometimes you can use a pill shaver and get rid of those. Sometimes you can't. This is a can't example. Um, and this jacket, I'm, I'm not even going to look at the rest of it. That is too dirty, so that's a no. All right, this is also way too pilly. So yeah, here, this is what pills are. When a seller calls something pilly, that is what they are referring to. Uh, next. All right, so this is a cute little skirt from the children's place. Um, I'm actually going to just wash this and give it to my daughter because she is growing like a weed. So that's going in the keep pile for me, which is another good thing about donations. My daughter is dressed in like 50% donations that we've received because kids' clothes are expensive and they grow up really, really quickly. All right, so this is going to go to the children's store. Little champion t-shirt. It's in really good condition. Um, kids' stuff tends to be stained right here. Like, they don't know how to eat. Um, but this one looks really good. There's no, like, underarm stuff, so that one's going to the kids' place. What are you? Ooh. Oh, look at this little NASA t-shirt. Am I forgetting though, or did that not actually happen? I thought they had to cancel that for some reason. I'm going to look that up because if it didn't happen, I feel like it's more valuable than if it did. <laughs> if I find any information, I'll always link it and show you guys. Um, Ooh, okay, a nice little jean jacket. So I'm tempted to keep this for my daughter too, but I think that looks like it's in really good condition, so that's going to go to the kids' store. That is crazy pilly. Yeah, normally when I have this much fabric, I like to take it and do a project with that, but that is super pilly. Although, you know what? We could weave this into a purse, so we're going to look at that. We're going to look at that later. I have this problem. I just, I, I want to keep every single thing that comes across and I have to stop that. Um, all right. So another one from the children's place that's in really good condition as well. So that's going, um, and it looks like this was originally a set. So we have that same shirt in a couple different colors. Um, and the rule of thumb with kids clothing is the bigger, the better I have found because like, you know, everybody has newborn baby stuff, right? Like, cause newborns don't really do anything. I just sit there and poop. Um, so usually at least at my store, they have a lot of newborn stuff. Whereas when you start getting into like the mediums and larges, kids wear out their clothing super fast. So I'm always looking for size like 2T and up. Um, those tend to be the best sellers and something like this, this is adorable. It's in perfect condition, but I don't know if they're going to take it because it's out of season. So that is a big question. Um, if I have a lot of kids donations or a lot of my daughter stuff, sometimes I'll set it aside and I'll just have like a summer box going and a winter box going. Um, and I will put stuff in appropriately and then take it in whenever the right season comes up. But I really only do that when I have like a couple totes worth of stuff. So that's good condition too. And this has all been three T so far, which is a good size. Although it breaks my heart because my daughter like just grew out of three T's. But yeah, these all look great. And it, I mean, this, I, I like children's clothing because I, I'm not on kid or anything. I, for me, 
Sometimes I'll sell bundles of it, but the easiest thing for me is just to take it to the baby store. Um, it's a really great way to just make some quick money. And I've had people donate, I mean, every couple months I'd say, I get a bunch of kids donations, I bring it in, I get about $100. So it's really nice to just have some money. <gasps> Guys, mommy and daddy's little pumpkin. That's so cute. Uh, it's a little early in the season, but I think they'll take that and put it away. All right, and another, yeah, great three t-shirt. So yeah, this is all looking good so far. Yeah, really good condition. I mean, what I'm looking for is like any stains, any any rips, anything that's got a funky smell, because sometimes I swear to you, kids stuff just gets a funky smell. Holiday stuff always goes really, really well. But this is looking really good so far. And like I said, I mean, what I'm gonna do, and. I'm a skipper. I skip on YouTube videos, so don't don't worry about skipping ahead if you want to skip ahead and just see what we end up getting for all of this. But everything that's going that way is going to the baby store. And the way they work when you take clothing into at least the one near me, which again I use once upon a child. They're just they're great. They're really easy. Um, they always have somebody on staff whenever they're open. Oh my God! Will this fit my kid? Hold on. It's a unicorn hoodie, guys! Okay, sorry. Okay, so they always have someone on staff who will take your clothing and just go through it and see what they wanna keep. And then it usually takes like an hour or two. They will call you and say, we have an offer ready for you. And when you go in, they will bring up the bin full of clothing that they want to accept from you. And they'll tell you, you know, we want to keep whatever, 37 pieces and give you $45 for them, whatever the numbers end up being. So you can say yes or you can say no. And if you say yes, they will either give you store credit or cash in hand. And then they will give you back all of the pieces that they didn't accept. And there's always pieces that they didn't accept. It does not matter how wonderful everything is, the condition that you brought it in. There's always going to be pieces that they didn't accept. Sorry, I just saw a little hole in those pants. Um, but also gonna be on YouTube later, I'm going to keep pants like this to make headbands for my daughter because she's finally at the age where her hair is going everywhere. So that is gonna be another project piece, which goes in a separate pile. Um, and all of these shorts are great. So yeah, if you say you want to accept their offer, they give you cash. If you say you don't want to accept their offer, which is always your right, then they just give you everything back. Um, but yeah, do not worry because there's always going to be pieces that they don't accept. Um, they're less picky than like a Play-Doh's closet. Play-Doh's closet is awful, <laughs> in my opinion. Fun to shop in, not so fun to sell in. Um, I love the little thing on the butt. Um, yeah, so no matter how great everything is, it's, it's just not always going. They're not going to take everything. They're just not. Is that like a Halloween costume? I'm in love with that. Oh, guys, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. And I'm such a freaking mom now, not keeping those. Um, I just, I, I'm like so weak. Everything cute that I see, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and there are rules that you should look into. So, for example, at my place, they will not take pajamas, like just the top or just the bottom. They have to be sets. We have a set. So that's good, make sure they go together. If you wanna be extra careful, you could even put them in a bag together. And yeah, this is the problem area for kids. It's right on the knee. But again, cute little headband, so we're keeping it. Oh, and the swim bottom that goes with those, perfect. So again, this is just a really good way to make some fast cash and just so you guys know, I am about halfway through of everything that we have in here. All right, so this is a great example of something that I might put away until next season. 
because it's in absolutely perfect condition. It honestly looks like it was never even worn, but the end of May is not when most people are looking to buy a snowsuit. So that's going to be in the I'll think about it pile. Oh, yep. So same thing. Um, this looks like it's in perfect condition. The zipper works, which is always a question. So that's going to be in the go away for later pile. Um, and if you do start accepting donations for your business, don't be surprised if oh, it's got a matching scarf. Um, don't be surprised if you get a lot of donations. Um, I always tell people that and they always say, okay. And then they're always really surprised. But most people just constantly have a bag going of stuff that they're ready to take to Goodwill. Just all the time. Um, and they don't know what to do with it. Because like Marie Kondo swept through this nation as she did. And taught people how to say goodbye to their clothing and stuff. But. Uh, Alright, so that's a PJ. Let's see if it has a bottom somewhere. Alright, this PJ does. Um people are really good at putting the stuff together that they want to get rid of. The hardest part is actually going on and getting it out of your house. That is the tricky part. And so someone like me who's saying like, Hey, I'll come to your house right now and I'll pick it up. I'm always shocked at how happy people are that I come and get their stuff. I am shocked because for me, it's like, you're giving me money. You're handing me money and you're thanking me for coming to get it. All right, so that's just a little too disturbed. Um, so I'm, I'm always really, really surprised by that. Obviously happily surprised, but I would say just don't, don't overthink it, I, really. Cause I mean, a lot of people get really like nervous about how do I, how do I ask for a donation? Like, is it weird if I say I want your old stuff? And I promise you, you are performing a service for people. You are performing a service. And no matter how many times I pick up from somebody's house, I always thank them over and over and over and over. Everybody likes to be thanked, but they thank me. They thank me. It's amazing. And everybody just has extra stuff. How cute is that? Okay, so another thing you could do with kids clothes is a lot of them come with these sort of embroidered patches. Um, you can just cut this out and use that as a patch on something else. Cause like this on a little pair of jeans or like a denim jacket, adorable. I think I'm gonna do that cause I'm a crazy person with no self control. Um, but I'm really happy cause a lot of what we're seeing so far is, gonna, is going right in the keep pile. Yeah, everything, and I'll show you the key pile in just a second. Let me turn the camera. Yeah, a little bit too old. So that's our key pile so far. Um, and there's certainly a not key pile, but frankly, as someone who goes to Goodwill about once a week anyway, I don't mind bringing a bag to get rid of. Oh my God, this coat. Guys, okay. So I'm definitely gonna, yeah. This is no longer a maybe pile. This is now a definitely keep for fall pile. So I'm going to hold on to this for a couple months, just put it in a box, put it in my garage, and then probably September, bring that in and make money on that. They are always looking for good coats. Hmm. And I have to start in the second yes pile because the first yes pile is officially too big. Um, I also, I have absolutely no issue dressing my child in other people's like cast offs because I mean, and you'll know this if you're a parent, you get rid of clothing so much because your kid just grows up so quickly. I really don't have an issue with it. Um, like if my daughter was a little bit smaller, she would love this. Look at that pattern. So cute. And there's absolutely no reason in my mind to deny a child something, you know, oh guys, Look at this little Elsa dress. <gasps> so cute. Like, 
yeah, I have no issue putting my child in this. I mean, women get rid of their kids' clothing, primarily women, dads do too, but women get rid of their kids' clothing because they just grow up too quickly. I'm not going to deny some child the absolute joy of owning this just because, like, it's old, you know? That is so cute. Oh, my God, there's another one. Ah! Oh, my gosh. And you guys can also see, I mean, it's, it's so stupid how happy I am going through all of this clothing. Like, it just makes me so happy because inside I am a child as well. Undersea friends, guys. How cute is that? Oh, my gosh. And again, at the end of this video, like seriously, the second I stop recording this video, I'm going to just drive to the baby store and drop all of this off so that I can tell you how much I made on all of it. What's this? Oh, this is the pants. Okay, hold on. So, okay, I got this a minute ago. And I was considering holding on to it. I did not realize it comes with its own shorts. So now we're definitely holding on to it. And that's going to go in the fall pile. And it's also just not a bad idea to make friends with the people at your local stores like that. So that's going in the fall pile too. You know what? There was a sweater. I'll find it. That's going to go in the fall pile. Look at how becoming that is for a two-year-old. But you never know who's going to give you a call one day and say like, hey, we've got bags of women's clothing here that somebody just dropped off. We can't use them. Do you want them? I go to my baby store. I am super nice to people. So this is from Arctech. That is also going to go in the fall pile. That happens all the time too. People are just looking to get rid of their stuff. And especially around me, um, sometimes the Goodwills get so flooded with donations that they just say we can't take any more stuff. So really good water shoes, again, good condition on these. So what ends up happening is people just drive by like after they close and drop bags of clothing off and they can't use them. So they're gonna take them right to the dumpster out back. But instead they know what I do. They'll call me and say, we've got a couple bags of clothing. Do you want them? And the answer is yes. Yes, I always want your extra stuff. So there's no reason to just not start having good relationships with people in your area like that. Um, especially because somebody who's getting paid minimum wage to work at a baby store, like they don't want a dumpster to be part of their day. That's not something that interests them. So if you can do them a favor and instead of making them go out to that dumpster, you'll take it off their hands. Everybody wins. Everybody's happy because their goal is just, just get rid of it. All right, so that is basically everything we have. I'll show you, I'm gonna go through what's left in this one box, um, but it's a lot of underwear. Any baby store that you go to, they're all gonna have different rules. Any baby store that you go to does not want underwear, unless it is in absolutely brand new condition with the original tags on it or in the original packaging. So um, this is our yes stuff. I'm going to put it in a bin and take it to the baby store. I'll join you guys in a minute. A key part of any time I go to the baby store is getting Starbucks. So whatever I end up making, it's going to be minus $6.31. So Once Upon a Child has had my bin for about two hours, but they just called to say they're ready with an offer. So let's go see what I got. Okay, so I just finished up in the store and they ended up taking um, about two thirds of what I brought in for $54 and whatever cents. Um, which is pretty good because we spent less than half an hour looking through the items. I had to drive to the store and back certainly, but free stuff to $54 for basically zero work, which I will take any day of the week. Um, I hope you guys have a good strategy that works for you, but please consider taking donations. It really, really helps. And the stuff that they didn't sell, um, you can either take to a local children's pantry, I guarantee there's one in your area, or you can always take it to Goodwill and just donate and then go inside and go shopping with the money that you have, um, which may be what I'm on my way to do now. See you guys later.